The recent collapse of the polar vortex is set to reshape weather patterns across the United States and Canada this mid-spring. Just over a month ago, a strong stratospheric warming event triggered this collapse, leading to significant atmospheric pressure changes. As we move through April and into May, we're witnessing the effects of a high-pressure anomaly descending from the stratosphere, influencing lower-level weather systems. This connection is crucial. It alters pressure dynamics over the polar circle and directly impacts North America's weather. The polar vortex, which governs atmospheric circulation, consists of both stratospheric and tropospheric layers. Each plays a distinct role, but together, they dictate our winter weather patterns. As we monitor these changes, it's fascinating to see how a shift in the stratosphere can ripple through our daily weather, reminding us of the interconnectedness of our atmosphere. In mid-March 2025, we witnessed a significant sudden stratospheric warming event. This phenomenon involves a rapid rise in pressure and temperature in the stratosphere, and when powerful enough, it can disrupt the polar vortex. The analysis from that time revealed a high-pressure system dominating the polar regions, effectively splitting the polar vortex into two distinct cores. At 31 kilometers up, the mid-stratosphere was ablaze with warmth, showcasing a striking temperature anomaly. The readings indicated that temperatures were significantly above normal for this time of year, marking this SSW event as unusually intense. The central area even displayed a void, a high-pressure anomaly that was instrumental in breaking apart the polar vortex. This event not only reshaped the stratosphere, but also set the stage for altered weather patterns in the weeks that followed. The implications of such a strong warming wave are profound, influencing everything from winter storms to temperature fluctuations across the globe. Stratospheric warming is fascinating, especially when we see its effects trickle down to our weather. After a sudden stratospheric warming event, we often notice a high-pressure system forming over the northern regions. This high pressure disrupts typical weather patterns and can lead to significant shifts in the jet stream. Tracking these changes requires us to monitor temperature anomalies over time. For instance, in early March, we witnessed a marked increase in stratospheric temperatures, which then cascaded downwards, influencing our lower atmosphere. But it's not just temperature we need to consider. Pressure anomalies play a crucial role too. Negative pressure anomalies indicate lower pressure, while positive anomalies signal higher pressure. The data shows a persistent high pressure anomaly in the stratosphere from early March through mid-April and this is where the real impact on our weather begins. Understanding these dynamics helps us grasp how stratospheric events can reshape our climate. As we dive into the latest pressure anomalies across the atmosphere, we notice a significant high pressure anomaly over the North Atlantic, extending its influence down to the surface. This is a remnant of a stratospheric warming event, which is fascinating in itself. Meanwhile, a contrasting low-pressure anomaly is centered over the United States and Canada, setting the stage for a shift in weather patterns. This high-pressure area effectively blocks polar influences, creating a more chaotic atmospheric pattern with waves of high and low pressure. The latest analysis reveals a strong tendency for high pressure over the polar regions, particularly in the North Pacific and North Atlantic. On the flip side, Low pressure systems are more scattered, with a notable pair hovering over the western United States and eastern Canada. This dynamic setup will lead to a varied temperature landscape, with colder air dominating the western half of the continent, while warmer air surges into the eastern regions. It's a classic case of atmospheric tug of war, showcasing the ever changing nature of our weather. A northerly flow is sweeping in behind a low pressure system, bringing unseasonably low temperatures to the western United States and south central Canada. Just look at the temperature forecast for Saturday morning. Freezing conditions stretch across much of the northern United States 
and parts of the West. Meanwhile, the Central Plains and Great Lakes will hover in the low 40 to high 30, while the Southern and Eastern United States enjoy above average warmth with highs in the 60. This stark contrast in temperatures is fueling a battle between different air masses. The precipitation anomaly forecast reveals a significant rainfall pattern over the Southern Plains and Midwest, indicating a high potential for storms where the cold and warm air collide. As we look ahead to late April, a strong high pressure anomaly is expected over Greenland and the polar regions, reminiscent of past stratospheric warming events. Another high pressure area is forecasted over the United States and Southern Canada, signaling a shift in weather patterns. As we approach late April, the pressure anomaly forecast reveals some intriguing weather patterns. A strong high pressure anomaly is forming over Greenland and the polar regions, reminiscent of past post stratospheric warming events. This setup is creating another significant high pressure zone over the United States and Southern Canada. While this typically leads to warmer conditions, we also see low pressure systems circling the blocked polar regions. If it were midwinter, we might expect a stronger cold air outbreak across the United States. However, one of these low pressure systems is poised to impact the northeastern United States, bringing cooler temperatures to that area. The five day surface temperature anomaly forecast from April 27th and May 2nd shows much warmer than normal temperatures across the United States and southern Canada, thanks to that broad high pressure zone. Yet, eastern Canada is forecasted to experience below normal temperatures due to the nearby low pressure system, which will also influence the northeastern United States. Expect a stark contrast in temperatures as we wrap up April, with the rest of the country basking in warmth while the Northeast feels the chill. We're seeing an intriguing weather pattern as we approach the end of April. Eastern Canada is experiencing below normal temperatures linked to a low pressure system, which is also set to influence the Northeastern United States. The single day temperature forecast reveals a stark contrast while much of the United States and Canada will bask in above normal warmth, the Northeast will feel the chill from that northerly flow. This pattern is expected to persist with below normal temperatures potentially spreading further as we head into May. Now, let's talk rainfall. The European Center for Medium Range Weather forecasts precipitation anomaly for late April indicates above normal rainfall across the central and southern plains, as well as parts of the northern United States and mid-upper Midwest. Meanwhile, the southeastern United States will see less rain thanks to a dominating high pressure system. Looking ahead to early May, the extended range forecast suggests a continued high pressure area over the polar regions, likely a remnant of recent stratospheric warming. This could shape our weather pattern significantly as we transition into the final month of spring. As we dive into the temperature forecast for the second half of May, it's fascinating to see the warm anomalies persisting inside the polar circle. This suggests that high pressure blocking is likely to continue, creating some unusual weather patterns. Meanwhile, over the Midwest and Northeastern United States, we're looking at a significant dip in temperatures, an even larger negative anomaly compared to early May. This stark contrast is a direct result of the remnants of the recent stratospheric warming event. It's intriguing how these dynamics can lead to such peculiar weather across the United States and Canada as we transition deeper into spring. Buckle up because this season is shaping up to be anything but ordinary. As we dive into the temperature forecast for the second half of May, it's fascinating to see the warm anomalies persisting inside the polar circle. This suggests that high pressure blocking is likely to continue, creating some unusual weather patterns. Meanwhile, over the Midwest and Northeastern United States, we're looking at a significant dip in temperatures, an even larger negative anomaly compared to early May. This stark contrast is a direct result of the remnants of the recent stratospheric warming event. 
It's intriguing how these dynamics can lead to such peculiar weather across the United States and Canada as we transition deeper into spring. Buckle up, because this season is shaping up to be anything but ordinary.